Well, a former Baltimore Ravens cheerleader that was sentenced to 48 weekends in a Delaware detention center may now be facing more charges after pleading guilty to fourth degree rape of a 15 year old boy in Bethany Beach last summer. Now, Baltimore County prosecutors are considering charges of their own against Molly Shattuck. Our Sussex County Bureau Chief Evan Koslov joins us now live at the courthouse in Georgetown. And Evan, you received some legal analysis. What might be next for Shattuck? Good evening, guys. And one thing is clear. All the work inside of this building is now done. That's because all the charges related to Delaware misconduct have now, be, have now been punished. But the question is, did she break the law in Maryland? And if so, will there be more charges? This was Shattuck leaving the courtroom on Friday in what she hoped would be her last legal battle. Sobbing, at times hyperventilating, and throughout it all, taking full responsibility, she received 48 weekends in a Delaware detention center. But now she may find herself in front of a judge once again. Baltimore County State Attorney Scott Schellenberger says they are re-examining allegations of sexual misconduct, this time in Maryland. In a statement to the Baltimore Sun, he said, quote, we have to reach out to the victim's family to see where they are on this, adding we need to relook at the facts of what happened in Baltimore County. Locally, it appears the prosecutors were looking for a more severe punishment than was given. In a letter to Judge E. Scott Bradley before the sentencing, prosecutor John Donahue wrote, quote, anything less than incarceration would unduly depreciate the offense. I think that the judge in the case looked at everything. Defense attorney and legal analyst Eric Mooney says political pressure in Maryland could be playing a role in the call for more charges. People that are more famous and are more well known, uh, the, the, those kind of cases, I think that uh, there is an effect. At the time of Shattuck's Delaware arrest, Schellenberger released a statement saying that his office would defer to the prosecutors in the first state. The fact that they are now taking action has some legal analysts talking, such as Byron Warnkin of Baltimore. My guess is they have decided that 48 weekends in jail uh, and some community service is not enough. One legal dispute now over, another might be around the corner. All right, now Shattuck will be reporting for her first weekend of incarceration next Friday on September 4th. She'll be there every other weekend until she reaches 48 weekends. And if you want to take a look at the court documents detailing the charges against Shattuck, they're up on our website as tonight's Web Extra. Reporting here in Sussex County, this is Evan Kozloff, WBOC News in Georgetown. All right, Evan, thanks.